Hey pups, RP here and welcome to another video I may or may not regret later. Anyways, I'm gonna give y'all some tips and tricks on creating a sexuality for your OC. If you want your OC to have a sexuality, it all depends on you, the creator, whether or not you want your OC to have a sexuality or not. So uh, let's just start the video. Whether your OC is your original character idea, a fan character, a self-insert, whatever they may be, creating a sexuality for your character is honestly up to the choice of the creator. But if you are deciding you want to create a sexuality for your character, hopefully this video can and will help you. If not, please don't sue me. I am not a professional. Also, if I get anything wrong, do correct me, please. I'm just making this video to share my own experience with creating characters with sexualities. So let's get right on it. The tips and tricks I have are mostly based on my personal experience when creating a character with or without a sexuality or sexual preference or gender or what have you. That being said, let's get started. Like with everything else, such as mental illnesses and mental health, it's all about research. If you have friends or family members that have come out of the closet with their gender identity or sexuality, be sure to ask them questions about it that are safe and they have your consent to answer as honest as they possibly can, mind you. If they're scared to ask, don't pressure them. Google is honestly your best friend when it comes to that type of field. Look up different websites that debunk the myths and false facts about LGBTQ plus communities and people. Look at a few good examples from shows, movies, and video games. An example of this is Kanji Tatsume from Persona 4. He's often worried about being judged and made fun of for being or being seen as gay or flamboyant for anything and everything he does, says, and feels. So, he acts like the super tough macho man, despite having a soft spot and liking cute things, and even having an interest in certain hobbies, like crafting for example. Another good example is Sailor's Uranus and Neptune. Though, English dubs changed them to cousins because America just wasn't ready for gay pride back then when Sailor Moon was released in 1992. They're actually lesbian to the original canon of both the anime and manga. Another few quick examples are Marceline and Bubblegum from Adventure Time, Angel Dust from Hasbun Hotel, Garnet and Pearl from Steven Universe, and so on and so forth. Granted, some of them may or may not be the best examples or portrayals of LGBTQ plus characters, but if you watch the shows they're a part of, it can help you get a good idea of an LGBTQ plus character at the very least. I'll also link a few sources to help out if you need. Though, do keep clear of stereotyping your OC. For example, making them trans female, but making them look more like a cisgendered male rather than trans female. A good example of a character that's trans female is the character Sally Mae from the Hell of a Boss episode, The Harvest Moon Festival, voiced by a real trans female. Looks more female while having male horn patterns, and despite that, looks more female than the gender she was initially born as. That is how you make a good transgendered character. An example of badly made LGBTQ plus characters are Ren and Stimpy. The creator, John Kay, had actually said he only made Ren and Stimpy gay as a means of comedy and because he thought that those characters as a gay couple was funny. Fucking excuse you? This is not how you make a gay character because homophobia good, quote unquote. Homophobia and transphobia bad. Very bad. Now, I can't really tell you how to make your character's sexuality if you choose to make them one. However, same goes for me and everyone else. My honest advice I can give if you do decide to make a character with a sexuality, do your research, don't overly stereotype your character if you're gonna make them gay, trans, whatever. Take a look at the examples shown in this video like Sal and May from Helleva and Garner from Steven Universe. And above all, just have fun with it. Whether you want to show your representation for the LGBTQ plus community via character writing or just practicing and experimenting what you can do with it, just have fun with it. That's all the time I have for this one. Hopefully this helped. And if not, I apologize that I may come back to this topic and make a more updated version of it in the future. This is all just based on my experience and how I write characters that are trans, gay, bi, what have you. With all that being said, I'll see you in the next one, pups. Cue the outro. RP is out. Peace.